So if you just want to start off with your names and start with your name. Sure. I'll start off and you can rant, you can, you can finish. I'm Jim Mastricola. I am Jamie's dad. The dog is technically uh, Jamie's dog. Her name is Sophia. And uh, Jamie had the idea that she wants to do a little hiking with Sophia. But Sophie was a, was a little rambunctious and she didn't pay attention when she got distracted. So we didn't think there was much we could do about it, as we just heard. But uh, there is a lot we could do about it. Um, Nelson took, the, took her in. And uh, a few short weeks later, she was a totally transformed dog. And uh, No running off, very responsive. No. And awesome. uh, it was cheap. It was only $27,000. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was very reasonable. But, but yeah, I told you I'd throw you under the bus. Yeah. So it was, very, it, was, it was reasonable considering how much time he had to put into the dog. And uh, the dog ends up loving everybody there, Nelson and his dad and Tina yeah. and uh, everybody. So they, you know, we know she got treated very well, uh, but she seems happy to be home. <laughs> And we're happy to have her. And thank you for all your work and everybody awesome. else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, how was she before training? Before, what was your typical lifestyle? You know, what? How was she walking? How was she off leash? If she was off leash, we couldn't. We couldn't bring her out anywhere. Yeah, it was Fella. tough because um, <clears throat> she had trouble like approaching dogs. We would bring her to like the pet store or whatever, and um, it got to a point where we just left her in the car because she was. Um, she just didn't know how to respond to. To situations like she that. She snapped at the dog. She all of a sudden, yeah. she'd like, the dog will and get it. And it would look, be fine, because, like, you know, we, we always were co really comfortable with her, you know, in a, in a gated situation off leash. Um, but even that, it, it was it was kind of hit, hit or miss as well. Yeah. But now with with what we just did, we went hiking with her for, you know, for a walk for a few minutes ago. But, um, yeah, she it, she it doesn't seem to bother her or whatever. But before, um she just didn't, yeah, she would just never come back to us. She would run away. She would run off. She would go see other dogs. She would run after geese. Geese were her her Achilles heel. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and she would stay away. For instance, up, up my, uh, we call it the cottage affectionately. It's uh, more of a lake house now. But we um, used to, I used to let her out and to do her business. And sometimes she just did her business and came right back. I realized that was only when it was really, really cold. When it was comfortable for her, she decided she needed to take a little trip. She'd be three, four, ten houses away around the lake. Just messing with all the dogs. And yeah. she, yeah, and she would, she'd go in and eat the dog's food and growl at it if it got near him and just take off. And anyway, she was uh, tough to get back, and it was <coughs> concerning because if she did get up into that street, she never had practice on the street. She's, even though she's in the city with Jamie, she she was never you know a city dog, an outdoor city dog. So we were concerned about her that she would get hurt, and uh, it's great to know that she's uh, she's protected. She's really, kind of reeled in a bit. Yeah, no, yeah. quite a bit, yeah. quite a bit. Awesome, awesome. Now, what were your yeah. initial thoughts on the e collar? Now that you guys realized we were going to do off leash e collar training, you know, be honest. I well, they tried it on us. They actually put the e collar on us. Am I lying? Yeah. Am I lying? No, no, no. <laughs> Rita, can you attest to that? He literally put him on us and buzzed us. This is how sick this no. <laughs> no, he he just wanted to show us how how gentle it was. It really is very gentle. And it just gives the dog a little bit of a heads up. Um uh, before though, we I mean I wasn't I wasn't necessarily I, I didn't really know much about it. Um I so I didn't do a ton of research. I knew I did know that it was um, people. It was very polarizing. People either loved it or hated it. Um, I didn't. I didn't do as much research on it. Um, I kind of just trusted the process a, a little, a little bit, at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was. We never used it before. We never realized that it was kind of an option and and ha how to use it or where to even start with it. So. Awesome. And how do you feel now? Obviously. Yeah, it's it's great. I again, we did I put it on it. our arm I a little bit. It. Yeah, it doesn't. Hurt. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. She she doesn't seem like she is like hurt or sad when she's on it. She just is just more responsive. Like when we were clicking her, even I, I buzzed her um, harder than I that I initially had to. Yeah, yeah had to. Um, but yeah, it, it was fine. It wasn't. You know, she just you know snapped over and just came straight to me. But. 
Um, it doesn't seem like she really cares. It's not, you know, she just knows what to do when she's on it. Yeah, you can tell she's not hurt by it. No, not at all. And how do you guys feel now about once everything's back? She's back now after seven weeks. Um, so wise. we clearly have a lot of cuddling to do, but um, <laughs> no, I she's she's awesome. She's clearly still the the dog we we know and love, but it's so much easier. It's just so, it, it already feels easier. It's kind of a weight off your chest. Like I wouldn't really necessarily trust her going with a friend or you know um, at you know I'm down the park if I have to run you know whatever at a softball game if I'm in the field if I give her to a friend. No, it's hard. Well, first you have to do this, and then don't make sure she doesn't do this, yeah, and just, just leash. you know, don't, you know, but it's, well, no, I'm saying, like, even on the yeah. leash before, oh, like, yeah, it, you, have to, you have to do all these disclaimers, that's like, don't true. let her near a dog, we just don't know how she'll react, and that's true. so it's just, it's just really a weight, a weight off your shoulders a little bit. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, um, yeah any final words? She doesn't pull at all now, she doesn't, oh, no. yeah, she, she was pretty good with that before, with that. Call the yeah. Oh, the, the first session we had, yeah. Yeah, yeah the first session. Yeah, no, it's great. Got us all that, so. Those, those, little, feel better. those little tricks were good to know initially, plus the training, and now she's the perfect dog, because right now she's exhausted. <laughs> awesome. Any final thoughts? Anything you have to say to anyone that's watching this? No, I'll let you go. You know, I'll, let you, <laughs> I'll let you off the hook. No, no, that's a, I, yeah, I would recommend this. Yeah, it's. To anyone, if you don't think your dog could do it, she was, I'm telling you, she was a little, she was pretty darn hyper about, yeah. especially on distractions. She would go nuts. Yeah. She saw a duck or a, or a anything. She'd flip out. Now she's very relaxed. She she does, in a way, you could care less. Unless, of course, I have them chewing up my lawn with be I will send her after them. No, he won't. But other than that, no, he won't. she's fine. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> He's never gone because she's not really talking together. Oh, awesome. that's nice. She's in the bathroom, I think. I know. Awesome, awesome, guys. Wow. <laughs> Dad, Dad, just ignore it. Good Dad just <laughs> didn't want to. Jamie, any last things? No, no, I, she's okay. just great. It's, it really is just kind of a weight off and off. So always, my dad can't handle himself. It's all good. <laughs> Awesome guys. All right, thank you guys so much. All right, Thanks. Cool. Thank you. Um, so, are you are you stop 